Good morning. I'm going to give you an update. Um, you brought this to my attention and you're absolutely right. I'm going to start paying attention to making sure that these numbers equate to the live account. We're going to have a live account. We now have a live account, I should say, um, that's connected to the full auto trader by, held by VCT. And we're going to use that to show the results transparently. That's the most important thing to me. I just want to make sure that this is executing my trades in a transparent manner because I know my trade is good. As we can see, you know, I hit my target 39.99, very logical, and I'll show it to you on the chart so you guys can have a clear understanding. I've been along in a buyer uh, from numbers underneath, from all the way 3,400 and under, all the way back, and looking for the 4,000 range and above, and that has occurred um, right now. We're at exceptionally low period of volatility, and this is very dangerous for newbie traders and young traders uh, trying to trade a low volatility range because they want profits, right? You want profits. I, I listen to the knobs and so forth, and I just sit back and I, I listen to you. I, I don't react to you because I know that what you're doing is probably going to be... Uh, negative to your balance and you might lose money trading over leveraged and so forth. And that seems to be the case because of the number of responses I see in other rooms. But you know what? That's not my deal. My deal is to actually make money trading and to make good trades. That's it. I don't even care. I don't have any emotion connected to it. I'm going to break out the numbers to you and show you the logic. If we look at this chart right here, we can see those two green uh, vertical lines and then the one yellow horizontal line that's basically what you have there geometrically and that perfectly ran right up to that 4000 right perfectly that's the 61.8 because that's what was there in the chart and that is the point of which we can either continue upwards or we can fiddle around so we can fail around this uh, low uh, 4,000 between that 4,100. And if we look, there's two scenarios that I want you to really, really think about. Because markets are asymmetrical in nature. And that means sometimes there's low volatility. We do nothing and it just goes on for days or weeks or even months, unfortunately, uh, where it's just flat. And that's what we've been in. Um, and then there's periods of high volatility where we make a lot of profits by the movement up and down, like was in the beginning of the year. Um, but right now, we're not in that period. And as we can look at the charts, uh, we can see that there's two scenarios that are highly probabilistic. And remember, I have over 30 years' experience of looking at charts. I'm not your typical trader. I actually do very well. I know how to take good risks. I can beat trounce most fund managers because I don't even know how they have jobs other than just being in the banking industry because they don't produce any friggin' profits. It blows my mind. But anyway, I'll save that one for later. If we look at this chart, we have two scenarios of where we're likely to occur and go to the upper 4,000 to the low 5,000 range. That's a, a very good pro probability of the inverted head and shoulders like pattern that has occurred. Now the geometry is really screwy. It's not very um, clean. And I'll show you the difference between a clean geometry and, and non, uh, what we currently have. Uh, but we do have that supply zone up there. The other possibility is for a breakdown to the, the mid to maybe even the low 2000 range. I can't predict the exact number on that. That is more um, variable in nature. There's a good deal of variance on the models that I've run. And, uh, but that would be a great buying point back for the 4,000 range, but I'll let the chart go over and decide that that would even be a good buying point for the six to 7,000 range, but that's longer term. I, I would like that to occur. I don't get to determine that. Uh, what I do know is that right now, uh, we are in a not very a volatile and low value area so I just have to sit back and sit on my hands and wait because that's what the market's telling me not anybody else that's what's in the market so that's what we're looking at there now let me show you what a clean chart looks like all right this is a clean chart 
and I had good geometry and this occurred. Uh, we ran all the way down to the 3500, under 3600 and I was a buyer down there and then a seller back to 4300. Now on a percentage basis that is fantastic, right? If we think about it, it makes sense. But the one thing I want you to know is there was high volatility and the geometry was great in the chart unlike what we're in right now. And that's not up to me, that's up to the market. And when you see this, this buy zone down here goes from the 35 to 3400, goes all the way back up to 4300. Um, like I stated, that was likely to occur, as I've stated many times before. And I wonder, does anybody ever look at my accuracy? How good is it? It's pretty good. And there's a reason for that, because I pay attention and I listen to what the market tells me not what I want. Most people do the opposite. They decide what they want from the market and try to chase after it. And all they're doing is chasing the dragon, likely to get screwed by over leveraging and trading a short term range and then getting chopped up. Ridiculous. Fucking, why even bother trading? But anyway, this is what has occurred. Um, that's a, a difference between a clean and a unclean chart, I guess you can say. And that has to do with volatility and range. And I'll have more in the future. Uh, this has just been an update, give you an idea of what's going on. Nothing's really changed for the past month or so. Uh, nothing I can do about that. It's up to the market. But that's what's there. And that's what's really there. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And we'll sit back and relax as that's what the market's telling us to do. So I'll catch you next time. All right, bye.